Recent deadly train crashes like these have senior citizens from this mobile home park on edge. Located just a few hundred yards away from the tracks, all aboard Florida's plan to send 32 high-speed passenger trains through each day has neighbors fearing the worst. If there were a derailment here, there's no question in my mind that it would decimate the park and decimate the people in it. Everyone is over 55, some quite elderly, and they'd have a difficult time getting away. The park is bordered by the railroad on the west side and the Indian River Lagoon on the east side, leaving very few escape options in a rail disaster. Most people would just be stuck with the roof down over their heads or possibly, in the worst possible case, fire caused by whatever chemicals may be in those tank cars that I see on the cargo line. With some park residents over 90, Mary McHugh worries emergency vehicles will get stuck behind the railroad tracks at the park's entrance off Jensen Beach Boulevard. Martin County Fire Rescue on Savannah Road responds within five minutes now. With 32 trains a day, McHugh fears the worst outcome for her neighbors. They die because they didn't have that care that they needed. When these people need something, they need it immediately. McHugh crosses the tracks each day to visit her husband, sick with Parkinson's in a Stewart nursing home. Traffic is already backed up without all aboard Florida. She fears the trains will leave the neighborhood isolated. She'll be trapped with no place else to go. I can't move, not at my age. And why should I have to? We've established a home here, so I don't know why we should have to move because they want to make money. All aboard Florida executives haven't shown up for many meetings or answered many questions about their plans. Maybe they'll listen to this message. You're hurting the ordinary person. You're hurting us, people that are working for a living, people that have worked hard all their lives. You don't care about us. With few options remaining, Mrs. McHugh has handwritten letters to the Federal Railroad Administration twice and is now penning a letter to the editor. She's so scared that she's praying every day that all aboard Florida will be stopped. God knows how many years I'll have left, but I'd like them to be peaceful and decent. For many, all aboard Florida is an inconvenience. For these seniors, it could be deadly. Tell your legislators that All Aboard Florida must be stopped before it's too late. We can't allow the lives of Florida seniors to be unfairly jeopardized by these trains. It's just not fair. Fight back at citizensagainstthetrain.com.